everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video, I want to talk about the all-in-one WordPress migration plugin. So at NameHero, we host quite a few WordPress websites and we've optimized our high-speed cloud here for speed and specifically for WordPress in many instances. <laughs> As we find at least 99% of our customers, they use WordPress in some capacity or another. And, you know, even if this is just for a blog setup or for a temp site, you know, we, we use, we have a lot of customers that use a lot of instances of WordPress. Now, because of this, a lot of customers also like the all-in-one WordPress migration plugin. And this basically allows you to export and import your websites so you can move from another host over or you can back up your website or, you know, you can do many things with this plugin. So let's first talk about it really quick. If you go to WordPress.org, you can search for it under plugins. It's just all-in-one WP migration, and it gives um, you know all the details about the plugin here. It was updated three weeks ago, so remember we like to install plugins that are frequently updated. So this is it's got a million plus active installs, and it requires WordPress 3.3 or higher. Um, it also works with PHP 5.2 and on up from there, and in many different languages. So the main um, features they like to highlight here is um, they've tested on major Linux distributions, Mac OS, and Microsoft. They've got a list of hosting providers they work with, which um, you'll also see name hero there soon. Um, you can bypass all upload size restriction. We use chunks to import your site data. Uh, most providers set the max upload size to megabytes. As the file restrictions are applied to each chunk, web server upload restrictions. So basically, um, if you're limited by your upload, then they'll chunk out the um, upload size so you, you don't need this. Um, but at Name Hero, we actually allow you to change this inside of cPanel. So I'm going to show you how to change that, and then this is also a good backup um, feature to have. Um, also, it doesn't require any PHP extensions, and just with 5.2 forward, um, it's good for MySQL. So no matter what there, it works with 3.3 on up there. You can use um, WPCLI, the, um, inter the um, command line interface, which we also have enabled at Name Hero. If you need SSH access, feel free um, to let us know. Every account at Name Hero comes with free SSH access. You just have to verify yourselves to our security team, and they'll give you all the instruction. Just uh, submit a ticket to do that. And, of course, they offer support, and they have tons of different um, storage places to where you can upload your WordPress website. So me personally, I love how they have Amazon S3 and Dropbox as well because this way you can store copies of your WordPress website, you know, off-site and off your computer so you're not using up space. And, um, you know, I, me personally too, I love Dropbox, so you can just keep a, a nice copy there. All right, so um, you can go through their plugin page and read more about them and, you know, see the screenshots. But I'm going to run through uh, test setup so you can see this. I also encourage you to check out the developer's website. They've got um, a number of different products and stuff on their site, and you can get some more information as well about the product. Um, but I'm going to show you how to install it. And then I'm also going to do an example export, and then I'm going to do an example import. So I'm going to show you just kind of how this whole plugin works. Now, if you're not familiar with this here at Name Hero, we do do complimentary nightly backups. So once each night, your your whole website, your whole web space is backed up um, and into a secure offsite location. And um, this is as long as your website's not larger than 20 gigabytes or using over 100,000 files. And you know you can see these limits down at the bottom of this page here. Um, but a lot of customers, you know, they want more than just that. And they want more backups for their peace of mind, which I agree you should have. You know, the more backups and stuff of your site you have, um, the better. So the all-in-one all migration, you know, it is a backup op option as well as it is a, a migration tool. You know, if you're moving over from another um, web host to name hero, you maybe want to use this to perform your own migration. That's completely understandable. Um, when you're looking at our name hero packages, though, there's a couple things that make us unique than other providers. And we specify the number of CPU Cores, as well as the number of RAM that you have access to with your package. So this is important because if you're exporting or importing a really large site, you might start to encroach on some of these limits. So, you know, if you have a really large website, you need to look at, you know, having more power for that website. And of course, if you have run into any issues, and I'll talk about that too, as, as I highlight the plugin here, you know, let us know so we can, you know, recommend the, the best package that you're on or, um, you know, make arrangements. Now, if you're a reseller, um, you're, you're allowed to create unlimited accounts that have this two gigabytes of RAM and two CPU cores. So this is what you have. Your reseller is what you're able to create as well. And of course, we have a full line of VPS, virtual private servers in the cloud that um, you know just deal with their own dedicated RAM and um, disk space. So you don't have to really worry about you know specific limits to the cPanel if you are on a, a VPS. Uh, but now you understand that, let's um, go install a copy of all-in-one uh, migration on a domain, and I'll show you how it works. 
So this is my example WordPress I have set up. And this is just a, a very basic um, website here. It just got the, the basic WordPress stuff, right? You know, I just did the install and um, just using this to um, highlight the plugin. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about this um, here in a second. So to install this, we go over to plugins here and we click installed or we click installed plugins. We can click whatever we want to here, but we need to go to add new. So whether it's there or there. And then in keywords, we're going to type this in. So all in one WP migration, push enter. And there we go. All in one WP migration. So you can install now. And it just takes a second to pull it installed and activate it. So it's that simple, it's free, and all that stuff. So migration tool for your blog data, import and export your blog content with a single click. So as I said, they're more geared towards a migration than a backup solution. But you know, if you want to back up your website um, you know, once a week, once a month, and you want to do it, this is this tool is um, you know one that can do that for you. And you know, our backups here at Name Hero, it's the entire account. So it's all your emails, all your everything you have in your home directory. And this is just going to back up your, your WordPress, your, your blog data, your files and, and database. Um, now, if, when, once we install that plugin, we'll see all in one migration is here now. So we can click on it, and um, it's very, very simple to use. You know, they've got this, um, you can tweet it, recommend it, or feedback. We've got a support um, link here, um, but they've got um, here to export the sites here. And you've also got advanced options. So let's say that you're um, wanting to move from another web host. So let's say that our example site here, Key Diets, let's say it's hosted over at another web host. So we want to export our blog. So to do that, we would just want to come to the export page and we want to export it. Now, if your um, WordPress is extremely large and you have like lots of sp spam comments, you know, you might not want to include those because the larger your export file, the longer it takes to import it. And we've already highlighted they bypass those PHP limitations and all that stuff. But, you know, if you, you know, no need to bring over stuff that you don't need, such as spam comment, um, spam comments. Post revisions is another thing that, you know, if you're moving to a new web host, why not start fresh? Um, you know, these post revisions, I think by default, WordPress saves a bunch of these. Like every time you're going in to edit your post, um, you make updates, it saves all these revisions. So this might, these might not be needed. So I like they give you the option to, um, do not export media library. Your media library might be really extensive. So if you have a, a website, a WordPress website with lots of pictures and stuff uploaded to the media library, you know, maybe you want to bring this over manually. Um, or maybe you don't want to bring it over at all. Um, but this can, of course, you know, very much increase the size of this file. Now, I'd say most of you do want to bring over your media. So I would say try it with it. And if it doesn't work, then we can look at another option. Do not export themes. So if you don't want to bring over your, your theme files, which I think most everyone wants to do that, but you could they give you the option not to. Do not export must use plugin plugins. So this is like must use um, plugin files. If you don't want to bring those on, um, do not export plugins themselves or don't bring in the database or do not replace email domain. Um, and that's also in the, um, in the database. So you have a couple different options there you can choose you know I think most everyone's going to want to bring everything over um, except the spam and the post revisions you know I can see those being two things that you just don't want to bring in because a lot of that data is useless and so why fill up your new web space with useless data but again it's up to you um, once I click export this is when I have all these options you know I can send it to a file I can FTP this over so you know if you've just moved to name hero you could actually send this to um, you could send this to your new account by entering your FTP information you can send it to Dropbox Google Drive Amazon s3 blaze b2 OneDrive, box mega DigitalOcean, uh, Google Cloud Azure storage Amazon Glacier P cloud and web dev so you have a lot of options where you can send it to for my example I'm just going to do a file so basically this is going to package up my entire WordPress website and give me a file to download. Now, again, this is four megabytes because it's a brand new WordPress site. So there's no data really, right? Um, so it's very simple. So we're just going to go ahead and download it to our desktop. So it just takes a second to download and now we have it. Um, so I just want to show you the example of actually, you know, moving over. So we've got the hello world post. So if I wanted to change this and let's just change this to hello. And the point being is I'm going to show you it's going to overwrite this data. So I'm going to update it. Now if I go to my blog and refresh, I just see hello. So now I want to import in the, the backup or the, um, the whole copy that I just took. So um, what you would do if you're moving to Name Hero is you would install this plugin on your domain at Name Hero. And instead of exporting, you're going to import. So you can see now we can drag and drop a backup to import it. 
um, or we can import it from one of these. So we can actually, you know, define the file, the URL um, from Dropbox or anything like that. Me personally, I'm a fan of dragging and dropping. So for example, as I've got this file, so let's see if I can't drag this over. Actually, let's pull this over to here. And one second, let's pull back up my full screen. Okay, so let me minimize here so I can show you the, the dropping of it here. And there we are. So I like to drag and drop. So let me pull this in just a little bit here. And where's our file? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right here. And if I can ever get to it, open Finder. Okay, so it's in my downloads and it's right here. So I can just take this, minimize this a little bit, and I can import it and just drop it right here. So this is just, you know, drag, drop it. Drop it in here, bam, imports. Checking everything out. So now it's, it's going to go ahead and perform the process. The import process will overwrite your website, including the database, 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 media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding. So you know, this is important too, because remember, anything that you've done is going to be erased once you import this. So either have a backup or a download of your website before you do this if you have anything in it that you don't want to lose. Okay, we're going to click proceed. And now it's going to go ahead and run through its thing. Your data has been imported successfully. You need to perform two more steps. You must save your permalink structure twice. So this will open a new window. And this just takes you to where our permalinks is. So we're going to save this and save it again. And this generates a new HT access file. So that's why we do that. That's, how, that's what tells the web server how to structure your URLs. So you know if you wanted to change that, of course, you could. You can change it here. But that's why it wants you to do that. It also wants you to review the plugin if... Um, you know, if you enjoyed your experience. So again, yeah, it's up to you if you want to do it, but I think that's that's cool. You can give it to them and then close. So now if we go back to our website, you know, before we exported it, we um, had this hello world. So if we refresh it, you can see it's returned back to that state. You know, it's returned back to how it was. So we've exported it and imported it in. So that's how export works. Export from your old web host, import it to the new web host. And then you do have the backup options. So you can see um, it's made these backups here. Um, that we can delete, we can restore them, or we can download them. We can also have the option to create a backup. So if we wanted to, um, you know, create one, we just do it through the whole export thing, right? Um, so again, just another way. Now, you don't want to get a bunch of these stacked up in here. Um, there's some users that, I'll, that, you know, they'll contact our support team and we'll see 10, 20, 30, 50 backups. Don't do that because uh, this uses up your web space. You only keep as many backups, you know, one, two days worth of data. Other than that, you don't want to store these in here because it eats up your web space and you don't want to use up your space and your file size and all that, um, you know, if not necessary. I'm a huge fan about keeping my word or my um, web space cleaned up. So, you know, keep that in mind um, while you're using this plugin. Now, I want to talk about some issues that you might run into with using this plugin. So if you're exporting um, a large site or importing a large site, you might run into some limits. And, you know, if you have thousands of posts or lots of comments or lots of data, you might run into a CPU limit. So I want to show you how to see what limit you're hitting. So if you're running this and you receive an error, I'm going to show you where it would be. So I'm going over to the Name Hero client area, and I'm logged in. I'm going to navigate to my web hosting package. So my example here is Key Diets. So I'm using the Plus Cloud. And I want to go into cPanel. So under Actions, I'm going to click Log into cPanel. And so if I'm hitting any limit, it's going to show it here under statistics. So you can see I've got um, up to 250,000 files I can use. So, you know, nowhere close to there. Disk space is unlimited bandwidth. So I'm not anything there. Um, and all these other options are unlimited. Now we go down here at CPU usage. This is something that you could run into. Um, you know, if this reaches 100%, then you know that it's eating too much CPU resources. You know, you're hitting that limit. Same with entry processes or your virtual or physical uh, memory usage. Remember, this is the RAM that we specify on our packages. Um, we also have the I.O. usage. So this is something that we see, you know, if you have a really large import or export, this I.O. limit can reach really quickly. And so we set this on all accounts to preserve the um, I.O. of the, of the um, solid state drives to keep the whole infrastructure fast. Because if we didn't have imposed such a limit, then really one or two sites could use a lot of this and could slow down um, everyone else's website. So that's why we have it. Now, if you're going to do an export or import and you start running into this, most often this is the limit that we see reached using such plugins, such as the um, WP Migration tool. Uh, if, this reach, if this is reached for you, you can submit a ticket and our team can work with you on temporarily increasing this to get your website migrated in. Now, we will, temp we will typically do such things during off 
peak hours. So this means like in evening hours or, um, you know, on weekends when the volume to the server as a whole is low. And then we can kind of set exceptions to these to get your um, to get your WordPress website exported and imported correctly. So if you're reaching this limit, you know, let us know and we'll try our best to work with you to, um, you know, to correct that. You know, don't get all mad that it's just there. Um, we can see what we can do to raise it to get your site in. Now, of course, this isn't possible if you're wanting to do this every single day. You know, if you have a really large site, um, you know, then that, that might be possible to export and import every single day. So if you wanted to migrate in from your other web hosts, so we'll be more than willing to work with you to get it inside of here. I also want to show you how to change those upload limits. So we can see right here on my import screen, my upload file size is 64 megabytes. And this is to actually just bring in this file. So I can change this easily by going to, I'm just going to type it in here at the top. I'll type in PHP um, and you'll see select PHP version. I'm going to click that and go to switch to PHP options. And this is where I can change those limits. So for example, my um, post max size, you can see it was 64. I can change that all the way up to 128 megabytes. My memory limit, I can also increase this because sometimes it uses a lot of memory when we're uploading and importing. And my upload max file size, you know, I can change this as well. I can go on up to, you know, as high as we need it and, and save it. So that's where that's changed. Um, you know, we talked about when I first pulled this up that it, you know, it'll bypass this limit for um, PHP, you know, if if it's because um, it chunks the data, um, but you can actually change this at Name Hero, so we don't just limit you. And you know, so there's, it's kind of needless to have that um, at Name Hero because you do have that option. But you know, those are the things that you you might want to change. This max execution time, you know, this might be something that you want to increase as well. So you know, if you're hitting a, a timeout, you might want to increase this, you know, to maybe 60 to maybe 100 or, or what have you. But you know, the default's 30, but feel free to alter that. Once you change these, though, you just save them in here, and then they will um, reflect to your site. You know, you'll see this um, change here. We we change that to 128 megabytes upload, and now we see it reflected here. So that's how it works. Um, you know, once again, at Name Hero, we do provide 10 free cPanel to cPanel migrations. So, you know, if you're moving over from HostGator or Bluehost or someone that uses cPanel, as long as you're able to get a full cPanel backup, we can take your whole cPanel and restore it at Name Hero. But if you're looking just to just to um, migrate over your WordPress website, this is a good plugin. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of success with it. Um, the only time we do see issues again is with that I/O limit. So again, you know, reach out if you run into an issue importing your site, and you know, we'd be more than willing to to look at it and to help you out. But you know, this is um, it, it's standard. It works on our servers. It works with us here. But again, if you do have that extremely large site, then you might have to do some tweaking. But good to plug in. You know, in, in mad respect to the developers that have developed it. So that's how it's done. That's how it's used, and you can use for your website. Uh, you know, I know if you're also a developer, we have lots of resellers that develop sites for customers. This might be a good option to. You know, export and import stuff from your de dev ser server or your dev um, environment into your customer's live website. So let us know if you have any questions, but thanks a bunch for using us here at namehero.com.